Hey everybody and Manny, welcome back to my channel, so pale shade. So we're here back for another shade video and this one's gonna be pretty interesting if you can already tell by the uh, intro picture there. We are using Irish Spring. This is Douglas's new uh, artwork for Irish Spring. I really, really dig this artwork. This is in his new CK6 formula. I will show you the um, label there. Um, I had to pick this up. I actually sold my old set to pick up this one. Um, and I'm really, really glad I picked this one up because this one smells a whole lot more closer to Irish Spring. In fact, I think it's a pretty, um, I think it's a dead ringer, to be quite honest with you. Um, I wish I would have picked up a bar of soap of Irish Spring, but um, my memory, I used this soap for Irish Spring, uh, the actual bar soap, body soap. Um, I've used it for, goodness, I, I don't know how many years. So the scent is, is a very, um, I have a very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, you wouldn't think a soap, a bar soap was sentimental, but it, it is because uh, it brought back a lot of fun and great memories um, going to high school and stuff. But um, it smells really good. It smells, I, I, I would say it smells just like Irish Spring. Um, the difference of this one, you can tell, this is like a pink, tan, peach uh, uh, color. Um, where, whereas is um uh, his other formula, the one that looked like a bunch of, uh, it had like four, it was split in four squares and it had like kind of springs on it, uh, green springs and the label was white. Um, that one there, it, it smelled good, but I got a lot of like the oak moss and, and, um, and like algae kind of a scent. Um, it was, it was good, but it didn't, I was bummed because it didn't smell as much as close as Irish Spring as I wanted it to and I'm very very happy with this one I highly recommend if you guys like Irish Spring you're gonna love this one um, I really really dig it see Irish Spring has got this um, this um, I don't know how to explain it like like this this oak moss this uh, this algae fougere um broody kind of scent um, that's the best way to describe it. Uh, and I don't want to put anybody off if you don't like brew. I'm not saying it smells like brew. It's just, that's the way I could describe the, the, the scent. And I'm like, okay, well, when I smelled the one with the little springs on it, um, I was like, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't get it. I, I can smell some similarities to Irish Spring, but this one, I, I think it's a dead ringer. I'm, I'm really excited with it. Uh, with that, I also got the matching attache splash in their new formula and I will pull it up here. Uh, I didn't get the jelly. I didn't get the bomb. There's no need. This stuff is awesome on its own. Um, it is absolutely not necessary. But if you're one of those who you have to have a trifecta or, or what have you, um, so be it. But it is not necessary. And I really dig this bottle because I love what he did with the green aftershave splash. Uh, it's really, really sick, man. Look at that dark, dark green. Um, this soap was supposed to be uh sent out on time for saint patrick's day sadly it wasn't i was pretty upset that it didn't get here on time um with everything that's been going on so i mean it is what it is and we're here to use it today and can't have any gripe with it i mean i'm happy that i have it i'm just a sense alone I'm not even upset anymore, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, I'm going to be going in with the uh, Green Ray uh, brush from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements or Phoenix Shaving. And I'm going to be trying out, uh, since <clears throat> I already know uh, how his formula works, it's, it's really good. Uh, I'm not reviewing the soap, I'm not reviewing the, uh, the uh, aftershave splash, nor the brush or the razors I'm gonna be using, but I am gonna be doing uh, a little test here today with these blades that I used way back when uh, I wasn't happy with them. They weren't to my liking, and uh, I'm gonna do a little testing here. So I might, you might see me switch out a few blade, uh, few razors here, maybe even a few blades, uh, who knows. But uh, basically this is just uh, showing that, you know, I got the new artwork and uh, the razors today will either be the Alpha Ecliptic or the Bakelite Slant. So this is the Alpha Ecliptic in aluminum. Uh, where's the logo there? 
I gotta get around the rig. Sorry guys, I, uh, that's the only way I can see what I'm looking at here. That's why I'm a little off to the side. And that's the handle there. And this is the Bakelite slant, or the Bake, sorry, the um, DLC open comb, or DL, the Bakelite deal, the open comb uh, Bakelite shit. You got it, right? There you have it. So, we shall see here today. And I think I'm gonna go with the, um, <clears throat> the Alpha Eclipse today. So hope you all are well, doing fantastic, and uh, getting through this whole damn, you know, this stupid ass virus that's been going around. Um, it's been pretty fucking hectic, man. Um, things are just getting worse, you know, but um, we're doing what we can on our end. So let's get in with this here. And this is what the blade looks like, the sleeve. <clears throat> Do not white blade, leaf blade and razor, carbon steel blade, uh, Pakistan stainless, what? Standard, no, what? Pakistan standard. All right. Yeah, um, yeah, a lot has changed uh, over time, and uh, these blades uh, are some of my blades, or some of the blades I tried out in the very, very beginning of my wet shaving career, I guess you could say, um, journey, um, and uh, yeah, I just really want to give this another shot. I was uh, talking to the guys about going in and trying a whole bunch of different blades, and it's uh, uh, Tony has opened my eyes up to so many other blades or uh, two other blades that um, I wasn't very fond of and he changed my mind and I just said hey you know what I'm gonna revisit some blades because things are, are looking on the up and up um, let me show you this here <clears throat> and this is a true slant this is not torque down the blade and it only goes on one way so you can't get it wrong and there we have it it does have some overhang there so be careful and I just now got out the shower and before we do that let's get into some uh, hazy little thing IPA from Sierra Nevada <clears throat> My wife is currently watching back my video with Williams and I'm um, going to start answering some of your guys' comments. I really appreciate uh, all the love and support. Oh, and I am uh, pouring it in my uh, IPA glass two fingers ahead. Awesome. Really, really love it. All right. <clears throat> you guys know I'm not a big IPA fan. For those of you guys who have watched me for a while. Um, but uh, I struggle to find any good hazies out here. Um, like the New England style. So let's get in with the soap. And uh, this is by far one of the best... Uh, Hazy IPAs. I'm not into West style, uh, uh, West Coast IPAs. At least I haven't found any yet. And I've I've tried a bunch of them. I'm not into that um, grapefruit, um, dank uh, pine scent. I don't like that really bitterness taste. I love bitterness, but only in my stout beers. <clears throat> With the CK6 formula, you guys don't need to load heavy, but I do. 
And I noticed that um, this formula, this new CK6 formula, is actually harder. I, I just now noticed that. <clears throat> It wasn't like this. Um, I don't believe. Yeah, so uh, yesterday, I don't know when this video is gonna go up, but yes, today's uh, Friday, right? Today's Friday. Friday, yeah. Uh, yesterday was um, my wife's um, ceremony for her um, Immigration of becoming an American citizen, her, uh, citizen, her uh, sw uh, swearing in ceremony, and uh, it got canceled. Wow, this stuff is freaking amazing. Have it. Sorry, guys, just went off my puck here. is a nice decent uh, firmness um, I only have one CK6 soap of Douglas's um, but I am curious because I am I'm, I'm telling you it feels different um, and it's not goopy like the other one um, so um, read when you see this video can you tell me if, if there's any difference? Because I know you got a few of those CK6. So you can see this stuff is thick, but that's because I load heavy. I just drown the knot with water to so speed up the process here. Fantastic. Yeah, this stuff smells so good. Cheers. All right, first pass with the grain. Smooth. And I only have one day of growth. I did shave yesterday because um, of my wife's ceremony, but 
that one just shit. But I did do a, um, I did do a, um, only a two pass shave. Because I knew I was going to shave with this um, set today. <clears throat> and I wanted to have some hair on my face for the shave. So. I'm going to try to get to the shave. Look at the sheen on that. <clears throat> so if we see any weepers today, you'll know why. But uh, I had to use this. So I am risking my skin for my viewers so I can pass cross grain. And remember, this has got a set uh, razor angle, preset angle. So that's the angle you want to use. And this razor, when using the right blade, it's very smooth, it's very comfortable, very efficient. I haven't used this razor so long in so long that um I don't even I don't even remember what blade worked well in it. This uh, blade feels um, feels smooth, but it feels uh, it feels um, tinny. Yeah, I can hear it um, chattering. So. Um, I'm gonna pull the blade out right now. And stick it in the baker light. Oh, 
Hopefully I didn't splash that with the camera. I hit um, 782 today on my subscription. So thank you all very much for your uh, recent subscriptions, for all your comments, for all your likes and thumbs up. It's very, very much appreciated. <clears throat> and welcome to the channel. Any of uh, you new viewers out there, any new uh, subscribers, hope you all uh, st stick around. And... Uh, Enjoy the uh, enjoy the shades that are coming coming down the pipeline. All right, so I just put that in the Bakelite. Like I said again, this has nothing to do with the soap today. I am just trying out different razors. And let's see how we do uh, against the grain. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Just all part of the fun, guys. All part of the fun. All right, let's do the rock one on setting two. Again, there you go. Just wanna see what's up, you know, with different razors. Um, because the Mercury 34T and this, uh, um, Rockwell are really good razors to test baits in. And I do have the lather, lather. <laughs> I do have my my fan on in the background and it's drying out my lather here, but it's all right. Mm. Night and day. Mm. Okay, very interesting. This razor or this blade in this razor is giving me that that um, that feedback that I really really enjoy. Wow. I'm digging it, I'm digging it, digging it, digging it.
Wow, I love that feedback noise. Mm. Cheeks are clean, just gotta clean up my neck. There you have it. This stuff just takes water like a champ, man. All right, guys, I'm gonna do my thing and pass it off camera. I'll be back. <clears throat> yeah, that blade works so well inside of that razor with that head. I'm so glad I revisited it. Revisited the blade. All right, let me rinse off of your back. All right, guys, fantastic. Really, really dig that shave. Let's get into this. Ah, right. After shave, the soap man. I say it's a dead ringer. That's just me. I know people out there have said um, uh, the scent does the scent doesn't smell like anything uh, or not anything doesn't smell uh, anything similar to Irish Spring or maybe a hint of it. Um, the one, like I said, the one before this one, the one with a bunch, a bunch of springs on it, um, it was so so, but this one a knockout for me. That is all right. <clears throat> Right. Now, I was going to do a male call shave with this, but um, I couldn't wait. I had to, I opened the package right there and then at my um, post office. And, uh, when I got home, I took off the the little seal and I had to see what it smelled like. I was hoping it was gonna be a little bit different. Um, I was told that um, this one smelled just like the last one. And I was like, mm, wasn't wasn't too upset because um, I liked the scent. Uh, the scent was okay from the other one. But um, when I applied just a dab of it on my hand here and waited it, wait it for it to dry down for about maybe five or 10 minutes. It really started opening up very strong and you got that. Like right now it's starting to open up and I'm getting a lot of that Irish spring scent. So Douglas, you did really well on this one, man. Um, it's, it's I would say it's a dead ringer. Um, and I highly recommend it to anyone who loves Irish spring. Uh, so that is my shave guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you guys like what you see, please like, favorite, share and subscribe. We went in with um, Irish Spring with the matching aftershave splash from Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements or Phoenix Shaving. We went in with the Green Ray uh, synthetic brush there. Uh, had a fantastic shave with this one here, the Rock Well on setting two with a treat blade, fantastic in this razor and setting. And these are the blades there. So I gotta head out of here, guys. I'm gonna go uh, have breakfast in my car since we can't have breakfast in the diners anymore. Um, so that is it. I will catch you all in the next one. Y'all stay safe out there. Cheers, guys.